Hi there. Still having issues, huh? Does your computer not do anything when you press that power button? Well, if it's anything like my relationship with our upper management, it has no power. Let's try some troubleshooting steps to get that back up and running. Welcome to our troubleshooting series. We'll get that fixed right up for you. First, let's ensure the PC's power cable is plugged into a known good outlet, power strip, surge protector, or power supply. Then, double check that the main power switch is flipped to the on position. Once you have done these steps, try to turn on your PC with the front panel power button. If you have one of our Eclipse or Eclipse Lite PCs, note that this trapezoidal looking thing up front is actually your power button, not any of the ones on top. Don't worry, it confused me the first time too. If none of these steps work and you still don't have power, it's time to check the power supply itself with a test known as the paperclip test. Flip the main power switch off and unplug the PC for now. Carefully remove the side glass panel from your system. You can work on your system in this orientation, or if it makes it easier for you, you can lay it down on its side. Locate your motherboard's power connector. It is a bulky 24-pin connector, usually near the upper right-hand edge of your motherboard. Pinch the locking clip on the right side of the connector and slowly pull it out. If the connector is in there tight, try rocking it vertically while pulling on it. If you can, avoid wiggling it side to side as this may bend pins in the connector. Once it's free, look into the open ends of the connector and orient it so the clip is on top. Count from the upper left corner over to pins 4 and 5 and insert one end of the paper clip into each metal pin. Set the connector down for now and make sure it doesn't touch any other components. Now let's plug in the PC and flip the main power switch on the power supply. If the power supply is working correctly, you should see the fans turn on and most if not all of your RGB lights turn on as well. If they don't, you may have a bad power supply. Contact our customer service team for further assistance. Turn off the main power switch. Remove the paper clip from the connector. Reinstall the motherboard power connector. Firmly press it down until you feel it click into place. We can now proceed to reseeding your CPU power connector. The CPU power connector is usually located towards the upper left corner of your motherboard. Pinch the locking latches like you did with the main power connector and unplug the cables here as well. Plug the cables back in until you hear a click and check to make sure it is securely connected. Plug the PC back in and try to turn it on again. It might simply have been a loose connection in either cables causing power loss. Also, check the front panel connectors inside the PC, making sure that the power SW is in the correct position as shown. The next step is to bypass the front panel switch entirely. Unplug the front panel connector labeled Power SW that we looked at earlier. You can use a screwdriver to short the connection between these two pins. If the PC doesn't start right away, you might have a short or ground somewhere preventing startup or perhaps a component is damaged. Give our CS team a call for further troubleshooting and more. Hopefully you found the issue on your PC and corrected it using our troubleshooting steps. If not, feel free to contact our customer support. We are open Mondays to Fridays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you don't have to see my face again.